So the Royal Air Force's autonomous collaborative platform strategy is, leads us to effectively harness uh, the emerging uh, uncrewed air systems technology uh, to bring to bear to the warfighter. Autonomous collaborative platforms will operate in a number of different ways. We will end up with our lower end capability, what we call tier one, uh, operating uh, to provide an effect in concert with other capabilities and we've all already been doing that work very successfully. In the future we expect greater levels of autonomy, we expect them to operate uh, as weapon systems, as air-to-air -air refuelers, as surveillance platforms, but also operating in concert with our crewed platforms to make sure that they can enhance the capability, uh, bring a different effect, operate in different environments, bring us extended range, uh, and make sure that we can protect our crewed platforms in a, in a better way as well. So we're going to interoperate and integrate with combat air platforms uh, now and into the future uh, to ensure that we increase survivability uh, and we enhance our operational capability into the future.